I've, uh, today I want to I want to show an example of um, I've had a few people ask me uh, about a feature on the White's V3i metal detector, um, and that would be the polar plot feature. And um, they weren't exactly clear as to what it looked like on the screen, how to use it, and what exactly it does um, from reading the manual or just talking to someone. So I figured I'd put this video together and uh, should lay it out pretty clear. Um, I have a few targets here. So basically, um, I'm going to set the machine set up right now. And I am in the High Pro program uh, with a couple tweaks done to it. And uh, the screen you're looking at now is a, a, a normal live search screen. That's what you would be seeing um, when you're just uh, swinging the coil and looking for targets. Uh, as you can see, it's the clean screen right now. And it's broken off into three sections. And you have your 2.5 uh, frequency, a 7.5, and a 22.5 frequency. Uh, the V3i is a, a multi-frequency machine. It has three frequencies. Not only does it transmit three, but it also processes three, processes three all at the same time. Um, now, when you get a good target, here's a silver dime. You're gonna, here's what you would see. Now, you have your positive 76 VDI number. You have an icon saying it's a dime and it's four and a half inches in the ground. And on another note, you'll see on your spectrograph, all three frequencies are hitting that with a nice clean single bar uh, indication. Now that's a really good target and that's in your normal search screen. On the back of the display screen, you'll have your trigger switch. When the trigger switch is pulled towards you, when you squeeze it to you, you kick into the, your depth reading indication. You can see all three frequencies operating there at the same time, trying to get a depth reading. A little EMI interference uh, from being in the house. Now, as I approach the dime to the coil, you can see that the 2.5 is hitting on that silver dime the best. Audio is increasing with the VCO feature elected. Release the trigger, you're back in the normal operating um, search mode. However, if you take the same trigger and you click it forward, locking it into a position, you kick into a different screen, and that is your polar plot screen. And your X there is your VDI range, the center of the X basically being a zero point. And to the right would be your positive VDI numbers. To the left would be your negative VDI numbers. Now with that silver dime, um, let's wave it across the coil. And we have a nice clean set of arrows, all three frequencies, giving a nice clean indication of our target. Again, we have our plus 75 VDI number. The machine is 99% confident that that number is correct at four and a half inches in the ground. That's a, that's a signal we're going to dig. Back to normal operating screen. Um, I have a square nail here. And basically there's some, the, the square nails could be a problem. Any iron could be a problem in the ground with giving false readings even though they're set uh, for rejection in our discrimination program. Uh, what happens is over time they start to decay, uh, rust away, and create a halo effect, which sometimes can give us that plus 75, plus 80 area um, on our v in the positive VDI range, um, which can leave you asking questions. Well, should I dig that? Because the VDI number's coming up, but the audio's not that good, but yet I have a plus 75. Is that just a deep target, or you know, is that iron playing tricks on me? Well, one of the features that Weiss has built into the V3i, the power, the, the polar plot, um, the analyze feature will help you with that. And how that's going to work, here's the iron nail, square nail, and uh, I'm going to wave that across the coil. And you'll notice on the spectrograph, we didn't get any good straight bars. They're all red, they're all smeared. 
and we have no audio. It's a broke up, basically nulled out signal. Um, however, this one's out of the ground. However, as I stated, when they're in the ground for some time, you can get that plus 75 signal. Now, say that we did get that when I waved that nail pass, and the audio was kind of there, but we're, we weren't sure. One way you can check is again by pushing our trigger forward, locking it, going into polar plot. And um, when you're off to the side of the target, wait for your threshold to tone out. You have a nice, clean, steady threshold. And slowly wave the coil across the target area and see what happens. Now, I just waved, I just waved the, uh, the coil across the target. And not only did the machine gnaw out, but you can see on our polar plot feature that all three frequencies have gone to the left into the negative side. Um, unlike the dime, which I'll wave across, is a good clean signal on all three frequencies on the positive 76 side. So that feature inside of itself can you know, really help you determine whether or not you're gonna dig a signal. Again, there's the square nail, and it's all, the, the lines are all over the board, and uh, the, it's 34% oh, it's short, and it's a negative target. We, we wouldn't dig that. We would keep on walking, keep on hunting. Now, squeeze and release, back to normal operating. Uh, some things we find in the field, these rings, I don't know if they're off wagons or horses or what have it. A little EMI there. But um, they could be a little funny to determine. Even though they're iron, I believe they have some mixed alloys in them. Now I'll wave this across the coil. And you can see on the spectrograph, not only do we have a positive 47 on a BDI, even though the, the, the object is iron, our audio isn't all that good. It's a little bro it's way broken up. And our spectrograph is smeared all over the screen. And we're getting like a plus 50 indication. Again, push your trigger forward, wave it over, and we're getting a plus 47, but our polar plot lines, our frequency arrows, are pretty much grouped together. We're not getting a good, clean, even though they're pointing on the positive side, it's not a good, clean signal. They're a little, they're just squirrely, all bunched together, not a, really not a good, good target. And with the audio gnawing out, I would keep on walking. What you're looking for, a target within the same BDI range, that, that positive 50, um, I have musket ball here. Uh, we'll wave that across the coil. I got a nice 52. Our spectrograph bars are all in line. We have a good icon. Now let's kick into the polar plot by locking our trigger forward. We have a nice clean indication with all three, all three frequencies separated, not bunched together. It's a positive 51, and our machine is 99% confident that the, that is a good target. So that one we're going to dig, unlike that mess of the plus 50 from the round iron ring. Um, so that right there, that analysis feature right there could really save you a lot of time in the field uh, deciding whether you're going to dig or not dig um, a target that you're a little unsure about from your regular search screen mode. Uh, again, it's just one more great feature on a, another great machine by Whites. And um, I hope that helps you out. Uh, I hope I explained it fairly well. And uh, good luck out there.